Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just to let you know that if you're running an Intel-based system and have an Intel Wi-Fi adapter on Windows 10 or Windows 11, that Intel has rolled out a new Wi-Fi driver, which is version 23.40.0, which is their latest driver, which includes a couple of important fixes um, on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And uh, first of all, obviously, um, I'll leave this page in the description because here we get the download links. The first one is for Windows 10, 11, 64-bit, and obviously 32-bit version of Windows 10, which is only available for Windows 10. Windows 11 is only 64-bit based. Now, first of all, they fixed a Wi-Fi yellow bang in Device Manager. Well, that's also known as an exclamation mark. So just to kind of tell you what that's all about in case you're unaware, if we head to our legacy device manager on Windows 10 and Windows 11, and if you are running an Intel Wi-Fi adapter, I'm not, but if you do, under network adapters, um, there were those little yellow bangs or exclamation marks, whatever you want to call them, that were appearing for no valid reason. That's been addressed now with this latest update. And the next is they fixed a Wi-Fi blue screen. So basically, that's a blue screen of death. And I always say any uh, any update of driver that fixes a blue screen is always important in my book. And then over and above that, they also mentioned that the uh, software for driver 2340 has been updated to uh, include functional and security updates. And they, are, they also mentioned that there may be other minor issues addressed which will impact performance, stability, or vendor-specific functionality, and they encourage you to update to the latest version for best performance. Now, what I'm going to say here, as I always say with drivers, only update to this latest driver if you have experienced any issues in that I've mentioned in this video. Otherwise, if you are completely happy with how your Intel Wireless Wi-Fi adapter and your current drivers are running and working on Windows 10 and Windows 11, then just ignore this update. And uh, that's what I always recommend with drivers because sometimes the latest and greatest um, can cause issues, especially if you haven't been experiencing any problems. So basically don't um, reinvent the wheel, so to speak, if it doesn't have to be reinvented. Now, if you are wondering um, what uh, actual um, uh, hardware components are affected, these are the products that are listed below. So... Um, I'm just going to scroll through these. You can just pause the video at any relevant timestamp if you want to just check this out a little bit more in depth. But here are the products that the driver is rolling out for on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And uh, just letting you know, especially as mentioned, if you were seeing those exclamation, uh, yellow exclam exclamation marks in your device manager or you were experiencing blue screens of death caused by your Wi-Fi issues and over and above that, um, if you have experienced any performance, stability, and um, problems, then obviously um, update to this latest driver. But if you are completely happy, then I just suggest ignore the driver. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.